Thank you. Uh, I'm very happy to be here, to be invited, and uh, I'm very happy to be share my activity or my view and my vision. I, I will talk about the road to the March 11, and from there. I shall start with this date, August 6. Most of the people know the date. The, we had the first country, we were the first country to be atomic bombed at Hiroshima. It was really tragedy and sad memory we all share. And three days after the second nuclear bomb at Nagasaki. A little bit strange things, and uh, uh, a little bit curiously, the first atomic bomb countries and two times atomic, country, atomic bomb countries rushed to nuclear. We had built 55 nuclear power plants, and 35% electricity came from nuclear before March 11. All we know is March 11. It's kind of a sad atomic bomb by ourselves. The, it was the, but uh, one thing I should uh, take on note, the, we should properly worry about radioactive mater materials and radiation, but not too much worry about it. We, we need really help to recover these disasters, rebuild our society. Don't skip Japan. <laughs> anyway, back to 1979. I was a nuclear, uh, I was a student at nuclear science engineering school at Kyoto University. At that time, I was rather just a, 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 like a science boy and the rather naively believed to uh, nuclear could help uh, partly the world energy solutions. But we had a three mile accident that year. Nuclear might not be a solution, could be a problem itself. Move on 1986. Uh, I was already work for a nuclear industry, and also partly work with the uh, Nuclear Safety Commission in the government, and also work inside the nuclear division in the electric industry. Actually, I, I, part of my work was at Fukushima Daiichi plant, spent here, uh, not a disaster pool, uh, more dry storage facility, but I, I went several times of the new Fukushima Daiichi plant anyway. This year, all we know, the Chernobyl accident. Even after this disaster, Japanese nuclear community still rushed to nuclear. I was a little bit frustrated or not comfortable within the nuclear community. No one seriously considered about safety their safety of the nuclear, or no one really see, seriously questioned about nuclear itself. The nuclear kind of village inside is really vacant. So, 1992, I all throw out my nuclear carrier and move to Sweden in order to run uh, energy and environmental policy and politics, and also the the reality of the society after nuclear referendum to decide to fail at the nuclear in 1980 was that. That was the year of the second World Environment Summit in Rio de Janeiro, in Brazil. But at that time in Europe, like in especially Sweden or other Nordic country, was the starting year of the so-called energy and environment revolution days, starting with 1990s, like uh, carbon tax, and like uh, electricity market restructuring, and some of the nuclear fade out, and some of uh, 
like uh, especially renewable energy promotions or revolution starting 1990 since German introducing a uh, feed tariff. I was very much excited to see the, how the society changing through the energy and uh, policy and politics. Then uh, visions and missions came into my mind, what I should do after my nuclear career in my life. So I made, my, I made up my mind and uh, came back to Japan to starting up uh, energy revolution alone. <coughs> it was one year after the Kyoto Conference at the Climate Summit in Kyoto. Japanese still stick to nuclear delusions. At that time, Japanese government saying more 20 nuclear by 2010 is a completely delusion and still the kind of uh, pro and con nuclear harsh debate each other, but no real policy inside. So I drafted nuclear promotion law and work on the both ruling and opposition party to, to agree that role. So it was rather succeed to the booming, the super coalitions in the parliament. But it was blocked by the bureaucracy and also electricity monopoly. But outside Japan, renewable become really false revolutions. Last decade, Renewable were rather dearly promoted the uh, last year end. The wind, biomass, and solar are already surpassed total nuclear capacity. And the total investment into renewable is more than the total of fossil and nuclear investment last year, and 20 times expands last 10 decades, last 10 years. But only Japan is be very much behind because of the nuclear delusions. But uh, we, shall, we, shall, we, should show, we should see, watch at the nuclear reality in Japan. After the disasters of March 11, the nuclear capacity sharply dropped down. We only have only less than 20% electricity can come from nuclear, and 10 years' time, it, was, it, it will be gradually dropped down because of the Japanese nuclear is very much aging. Maybe 10% 10 electricity at most in 10 years' time. Or we could fade out if we choose the fade out nuclear. Again, March 11. It was a kind of historical political coincidence in the morning on the March 11 this year, the renewable law has been the agreed by the cabinet. This is now in the parliament. It might pass in June or not. It's really the time to, we have the chance to pass in the renewable law. If we pass the renewable law, we can achieve big shift from nuclear to renewable, like Germany or Denmark or Spain or some other countries. But we fail to pass the renewable law. The nuclear disaster and nuclear delusion will continue. So really, we need your help to pass this renewable law. So you can, whatever you can do, to work on the parliament, like uh, uh, make a phone call or the, like an uh, like email or write a blog or uh, whatever you can do to make a movement to passing the renewable law. Yeah, right now we have the future and chance is in our, in our hand. So we hope, uh, I hope you can help uh, our Japanese future to make uh, more greener. Thank you very much. Thank you.